بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Dear students of class 3, I welcome you all for the fourth lecture of mathematics and I am your teacher Ms. Saima. Dear students, the today's topic is line segment and we will do the page number 183, 184 and 186 of the countdown book 3. In today's lecture, students, we will learn about point, align, align segment, and parallel lines. So let's start with the definition of point. Dear students, point is a exact location and it is shown as a dot. You can see in front of you there is a diagram of a point A, B and C. These are points. Students, points has no length, no width and no depth. A point is always denoted by capital letters. Ok students, now look at the definition of the line. A line is a set of points joining a straight path on both sides. A line has no end points and a line can go on and on forever on both sides. Now students, look at the definition of line segment. A line segment is line which joins two points together. You can see here we have point A and we have a point B. We join these two points and we get this line segment AB. It has two points beginning and end. This point from where we start to make a line is called the beginning point and where it ends is called the end point. Now students, we will see the definition of a ray. A ray is similar to a line segment but with one end point that extends infinitely in one direction. You can see we have only one end point in ray and it can be extended in the other direction. Now students you can able to see the diagram of line segment, ray and line in front of you. You can see that in line segment you have two endpoints and in ray you have only one endpoint and in the line you have no endpoints. Now students we will see how to draw a line segment. We will see the example that draw a line segment 4 cm long. For this you need a scale of 15 cm and you need a pencil. First place your scale on a page like this that your centimeter part is on the upward direction. Now if I have to draw a line of 4 cm I will place my pencil on 0 and draw a line till 4 cm. Now you can see that this is the beginning point of my line segment and this one is the end point of my line segment. I have a line AB equals to 4 cm. This is a line segment AB which is equals to 4 cm.
Now students, we will move to the definition of parallel lines. Parallel lines are the lines which never touch each other. Ye lines kabhi ek dusre ko touch nahi karti. Have you seen a ladder in front of you? You can see that in the ladder, these sides are parallel and the distance between them will remain always same. So students, the parallel lines are the two lines which will never meet and even they stretch forever. The distance between these two parallel lines remains always same. Now student, open the page number 193 of your countdown book and look at that question number 6. Question number 6 is using a ruler draw pairs of parallel lines of the given lens in your notebook. I will do the part A of question number 6 for you. For it, you have to draw a pair of 2 cm parallel lines. For this students, first draw a line segment of 2 cm on your notebook. Then draw another parallel line segment of 2 cm just in front of it and remember that the parallel lines are the lines in which the distance remain the same. So you should be careful about it that the distance between these two lines should be remain the same in all positions. Now you have to label your li line segments. Say A is your beginning point and B is the end point. Then C is a beginning point for second line segment and D is the end point of it. Now AB is parallel to CD. Your homework task is to complete the question number 6 of page number 193 in your notebooks. And also learn the definition of line, line segment, ray, and the parallel lines. Students, thank you and Allah Hafiz. Stay home, stay safe.